D-Lo, ayy, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, the team up in clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn out for what? Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug, uh-huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, folks? What up, what up, what up? Um, Something a little different today. Mm -hmm. Um, We were tagged uh, just just a few minutes ago. Yeah, uh, on Instagram. I want to give the person a shout out. I think his name is uh, Javari619. He said, hey, uh, Nim, uh, Nim, Nim Raps, Nim Raps. Uh, I've been a huge fan of your YouTube channel for years, and something really shady is happening with YouTube at In the Clutch, at Ross the Chosen One, Dub G, at Trill Billy, and Corey Kenshin. They are age restricting, flagging, and striking specifically black YouTubers. Please mm. take time to check to check out Corey Kenshin's latest YouTube video about the situation right. and, and go to his pinned comment. I apologize for bothering you or bringing this up, but it's unfair. And. Hey, I, I want to be we're gonna be transparent before we get into this video. We yeah. actually have a reaction, uh, a few reactions with Chisel Adonis. He came down here. Shout out to Chisel. We uh, we shot some videos with him, bro. They have they have our videos like either limited ads or age restricted. Oh yeah. And we have we're right now in a requesting stage to try to request so you know what I'm saying we could get properly monetized where they can remove the age restriction and it's been one of those things where it's like it's been frustrating because uh, a lot of the times there's videos that we want to be able to show you guys but sometimes we can't even do that because if they age restricted we get scared so we time we sometimes take down the video yeah in case they come back and try to give us a strike which they've done as you Before. guys know for the past year mm -hmm. this is our first time that we've been strike free for over a year and some mm -hmm. change. Um, and the crazy thing is, every time a strike on our channel was getting ready to be removed, they would tag on another one. Like, mm -hmm. bro, one night they put a strike on our channel, the night that our uh, strike was supposed to be taken off, one of our mm -hmm. strikes was supposed to be taken off, three in the morning, they put another strike on there mm -hmm. before the strike came off. The first one was supposed to be coming off that morning. So we've been dealing with that for so long. So you telling me that somebody tagged us in this, it just kind of felt like, you know, I didn't have a certain thing, you know, yeah. to point it at to, for the reason why. But damn near every video we post now is getting yellow mark. Yeah. Like they're literally, they're having to review everything. And I'm like, well, damn, that's kind of weird, you know, because we never really used to have that problem. We would just be able to post something and we know now mm -hmm. what to deem like something that we shouldn't put, you know, maybe we got to put it on the Patreon or maybe we can make it on the road page, but nah, they've literally just been yellow marking. It kind of feels like damn near everything. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what the video is. So we want to check this video out, man, and kind of see uh, Corey's uh, point of view of what's mm -hmm. been going on. Definitely another dope uh, YouTuber, man, been in yep. the game for a minute. Yep. Uh, OG with it. So let's let's see his perspective on for sure. what he's saying, seeing if a lot of what he's going through is lining up with us. Let's do it, man. Shout out to Corey Kenshin, I'm going to try my best <clears throat> to articulate this video as thoroughly, as plainly, as eloquently as possible. I don't want mm. there to be any lost context. I don't want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. Mm. YouTube, you guys either play favorites, mm -hmm. you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? Damn. I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these mm -hmm. issues are happening because I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm, it could be because of that, but nah, I ain't going to. I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. Right. This time, felt like that before. I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded The Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing The Mortuary Assistant and mm -hmm. only my video seemed to be age restricted. And I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video. No one else's was age restricted. Hmm. So I appealed the restriction. Um, hey guys, I, I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. 
sound about they right. doubled down. The policy team said, no, Corey, mm. your video is restricted <clears throat> for good reason. We're not going to tell you why, but it's restricted. That's our final decision. Yep. And that's a very tough thing and a valuable point that he just made. And it's funny because we just got with our team on this same instance. Mm -hmm. If you're going to age restrict someone's content, if, if you're going to be so vague about the rules of what can be deemed as age restricted or what can fly and what can't, why can't you specify in the video mm -hmm. what portion that is that's making it age restricted or yeah. that's giving me this copyright strike or you know like the, like they do with the copyright strikes mm -hmm. you know they'll say oh somebody's music in here and they'll tell you the damn time mm -hmm. you know like to the exact but when it's something like this they don't want to give you like a, a direct like wording of hey it's this it's this point it's this just know something in is age restricted that's all I can tell you that's kind of mm -hmm. like like playing the game almost yeah I guess I said hmm Okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep, who isn't on the policy team, he mm. looked at my video and he said, hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression. And I'm just going to leave it there. Lest yeah. this video also get age restricted just because I'm talking about it. So right. I looked at that part. That's the crazy. first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part or at least a part similar. Now, Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you mm -hmm. and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber Very big. and B, you're <clears throat> not black. So mm -hmm. I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play, all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant Part 3, and he had the same situation going on, and his video wasn't age restricted. So I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um, Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? He said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Astute. Let me uh, send this to them and see what they say. That ain't even a lot of detective work. That's just, just going to the, someone else's video to see bro. the same part. Like, oh, oh, okay. Been there. What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. Hmm. Got it taken off. They came back and they removed my age restriction. They took it off after they already rejected my appeal. Which is I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing. How do we know? And they removed mm. it. Now, my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh, great. This is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? <laughs> I expected them to triple down right. and give Markiplier an age restriction, too. Yeah. But they looked at Mark's video. And they use that to verify my wow. innocence. Mm -hmm. So I send my oh. YouTube rep a lengthy email yeah. detailing my feelings about yeah. the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play. There was either that or some racism at play and that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Mm -hmm. Actually, number one, was it automated or was it a human mm. that age restricted in in the first place? Number two, who was the human reviewer? Because it's a human reviewer once you mm -hmm. send, submit an appeal. Who was the human reviewer <clears throat> that doubled down and rejected my appeal? Number three, why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like... Every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days and mm -hmm. then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something Facts. that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. Facts. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 <laughs> or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. 
Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. Mm -hmm. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views. He's, he's getting too much exposure, too mm -hmm. much activity. Hold mm -hmm. that thought. Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's gonna continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by, and what do you know? Hmm. They re-age restricted the video. Bro, we have been there. That's we have insane. been there, dog. Oh my God, we have been there. I'm trying. I'm trying to hold my thoughts. Dog, if, that's if, so fucked if up. If we uh. was to really react. We would this video be damn near 30, 40 minutes long bro, because we've everything been, he's man. saying is like we've been there. We've had, been there, bro. Especially we've, this shit here. We've had we've talked to someone at Team YouTube saying, Hey bro, the video shouldn't be taken down. The video, the original video is up. They look at it, they say, you know what? We're just gonna age restrict it. Cool, come back not even like a week later. Strike. They give us a strike on the same video that they unstriked us for. And then they said, oh, well, we deemed it unsuitable for YouTube. But you just looked at it and then you said, you know what, we're gonna age restrict it to then sat up there and give us the same strike right. a week. That when, when you could have just let us keep the other strike because the week had went by for us not to upload. So not only did we miss being able to upload for that week, that midweek, you let us come back and then you give us another strike after that, which made video. us have another week that we bro, out. I'm too, you can't make this you up. Can't make this can't shit Can't make up. this up, bro. <laughs> they re-age restricted yeah. the video. I say no way did they do that. That's I go to Markiplier's shit. video now. And now his video is age restricted. Wow. They got caught with their pants down. Wow. They got called out. And then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. Yeah. We need to take some steps back. Wow. We need to just age restrict them That's both and crazy. be done with it. You thought that I wasn't going to like talk about this, make a video about That's it. Some... You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. You realize how unfair this comes across. I, in all my years, have never seen a video get age restricted, de-age restricted, and then age restricted again. Have Have any of you ever seen that happen? We they have, saw unfortunately. That, I saw that there was some unfair right. stuff going on, so then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video. Thought I say, wait, over. why are you doing that? Because I sent Markiplier's clip and then they say, oh, okay, well, let's just age restrict them both. Why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized mm. than my peers? My mm. peers, and when I say peers, I mean people around my level, around my view count, just to keep it simple. Why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized? Especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. Mm -hmm. And every single time I start to get an Slide uptick flips. in traction, an uptick in activity, you, here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, yep. you see yep. this, Corey? No, this is bad. Yep. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. Right. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. Every other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. Yep. And now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Now mm -hmm. I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. Yep. And for that matter, how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. Yeah. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit, how can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video 
and it can be the same exact video mm -hmm. and they restrict the black person's video but not the white person's video mm -hmm. i feel i've been mistreated for a long time i mean even That's when we crazy. hit 10 million subscribers and i was supposed to get my diamond That's play right. button and million. no one there was no correspondence wow. these situations That's always crazy. coincide with an uptick of growth and it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up yep i mean if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm telling you that's how it comes off i don't see any other youtuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that if i'm wrong i'm wrong point them out i want to see them i'll retract this entire video I'll make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man mm. and address it and apologize. Yep. I will do that, no problem. But to me, you mm. know what it comes off? It comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much, we gotta find something. Fact. We gotta get him for something. Fact. It's gotta, he's gotta have done something. Yep. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video <laughs> he games. He does. Like, I literally <laughs> this is the this is the youtuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with yeah. i believe there is some racism involved within the policy team and youtube in general really doesn't care about black people like that nope. um, they got their favorite creators mm -hmm. you know log out of youtube log out and go to youtube you'll see the people on the front page That's every single day shit. you'll see mm -hmm. the favorites Count how many are black, count how many are of people of color. So yep. then what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. Yep. They try and give us a spotlight. And do you know how condescending and patronizing that is? Oh yeah, let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube black, all that fake hmm. patronage, all that fake Damn. pandering that hmm. you guys do. And when you have a black creator coming to you repeatedly saying, why am I being treated differently than other creators? And then you come back and, oh, we got to de age restricted. And then, oh, no, we got to, we got to, he's on to us. Okay, we got to age restrict them both. Yep. Fake. <laughs> it's fake. That's what it is. Facts. I am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant. You know, in the beginning, I wanted to keep my emotions out of it. Shit tough I to wanted do. to stay logical. We wish you stay Corey, bro on nah, for sure. the things that I could prove. I gave you the facts, but it also turned into me venting the emotions that I've had built up around YouTube. Ironic mm. that I have to upload this on YouTube, but where else am I gonna upload it? You know, I worked hard, I, I built this community from the ground. It's taken me over a decade Whew. to do. Mm. And I would've just hoped that the playing field was fair and that, hey, if I did something bad, then everybody else who also did that thing should get punished too. Is that unreasonable? Right. I have no problem being punished. I have no problem if I break a rule that I get punished for it and I learn. But when you start like, when it's targeted, when you're mm -hmm. doing things only because I'm like getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation. But that's just what it is. Now, if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they mm -hmm. like, you know, they start like not sending my videos out to yep. my subscribers or, or you know, a couple months from now, y'all just stop seeing my videos. We know why. Yeah. We know why. I mean, those shadows behind the scenes, they control it all. Mm -hmm. They control all of it. If they don't want, if they don't want my channel, they could terminate it right now. Yeah. They could hide my videos. They could shadow ban me, not send my videos out to anybody. Yeah. That's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this, but as one of the biggest black creators on the platform, I want you to hear it from my mouth. 
that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes at oh, YouTube. Oh, for sure. Bro, no, that's some you real even, shit, bro. You ain't even got to tell me nothing. That's some real shit. You ain't even got to tell us nothing. We've been there, Corey, bro. We that's have been tough, there bro. over a year and a half. So we with you, brother. There's definitely some bullshit going on at YouTube, man. And something needs to be done about it. There needs to be more transparency yeah. when it comes to these guidelines. Even when you go to his video, I believe the, he said the video was immediately flagged as ads for ad suitability. I wonder why. Surely it isn't because YouTube is being shown in a poor light. Yeah. Surely not. It was immediately mm -hmm. limited yep. for ad revenue, bro. And, and you know, it's, it's just sad. But shout out to every his his supporters, bro. They show love, you know what I'm saying? And they support yeah, them through, you know, through thick and thin. And, and that's what's gotten us through our our For situations sure. with For YouTube. Sure, Y'all support coming to Patreon, checking us out there, or subscribing to the road page, subscribing to our personal pages. We need that, man. And, you know, hitting us up on Twitter, Instagram, like wherever we go, you guys show love. And that's what helps us in the end when YouTube starts tripping and giving us bs bro and and that and and like not to cut you off bro but it's like people don't like the youtube community you know behind the scenes you don't understand like people have built their lives off this mm -hmm. like you know building a channel like as big as his like man like 14 million subscribers count you know what i'm saying like that's crazy you know what i'm saying so anything that anybody do invest in time into this like they're they're trying to make it work yeah, you know, and the hardest thing about the YouTube community guidelines that people don't even really understand is they don't grandfather these these guidelines. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? If they say right now the S word can get you a community strike from today moving forward, not only will that get you a strike, but what we uploaded three four years ago will get us a strike too. Mm -hmm. Do you understand how hard that is? And them not even giving you a chance like it's like bro we understand the climate has changed we understand y'all have to kind of you know protect your assets and your, your mm -hmm. sponsors and keep the ads and everything everybody you got a lot of people to keep friendly you got a lot of videos being uploaded to youtube like constantly mm -hmm. a crazy number but it's like you know who's at certain you know volumes or like with certain subscribers and you you know the climate you you kind of understand the people that are hateful and the people that are actually just trying to make generally funny and good content mm -hmm. you know like you know the difference that's what you hire these people for that's what you hire folks for to go in internally to make sure all the bad people get you know pushed to the bad side mm -hmm. but we've been shadow banned as well you know what i'm saying that's it's we've been through that no we're not as big as the channel as he is but we're on that cusp of a million subscribers and that's something that not a lot of people are able to do mm -hmm. but we've been seeing it on our whole road like when they want to start striking you it just felt like crazy like damn how we get a strike every time a strike is coming off? Mm -hmm. You know, you start to wonder, and it's like, well, damn, bro, we was uploading videos and subscribers, like, damn, I didn't even get the notification for this. Mm -hmm. And we wasn't putting two and two together at first until it started hitting, it's like, oh, shit, this is what's going on? Like, yeah. what are we doing? Yeah. All we trying to do is put out good energy. I mean, we we tell people to spread love, beat the world. Like, we don't push no type of, like, negativity whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We joke, and y'all just see the realness of us. Mm -hmm. And who we are now is who we are when you meet us in person. Fact. We've, we've met countless amount of people that, you know, they we have conversations with them, and it's like we've been homies forever. Because mm -hmm. we build that type of community here. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they don't even know that. I understand what he was saying about the whole situation when it comes to the whole depressing person. We can't go in that because they'll flag it, but they don't understand that. Bro, somebody wrote us. They created a video for In The Clutch mm -hmm. because they said we, because of our videos, it stopped something from happening. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? That That's life changing. And that video Do got you understand? Striked. We got in trouble for that video mm -hmm. and he didn't even say it. He typed it in. Yep. It was typed. We were just like reading it, but we didn't know. It was like, wait, did the wait did the people who deemed this is uh, against the guy? Did they watch the damn video? Did they see what happened? Mm -hmm. Do they know why that was up there? This saved someone's. Someone said this saved their life. Mm -hmm. and we got and that's all he was saying, and we got in trouble for it. Yep. He wanted to thank us, telling us thank y'all for being who you guys are. Bro, we've gotten countless amount of messages like that. I'm glad we just never posted it. Mm -hmm. We just so happened to react to somebody's video 
who incorporated that in the beginning of his video just to say show thanks mm -hmm. and we telling him that nah thank you love you bro how how can you watch that video and say ah strike yep i mean it's just it's just stuff like that so i get his i get excuse me i get mm -hmm. his anger i get his frustration mm -hmm. um and again there is no specific word that you can use to say this is what's going on they're yeah. racist it's, it's hard to it's impossible to prove that because they they set it up to where they 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 covered their grounds trust me this is a come on the money coming in is crazy you yeah. know so but at the end of the day you got to start getting a little bit more personal with your content creators because if all content creators quit then what is youtube it's, it's a hand in hand type of thing you know what i'm saying like the youtube back in the day yeah it was a lot of bullshit on youtube back then but even now it's still some bullshit on youtube bro you can technically see porn still on here mm -hmm. we we've seen a video it was funny because for y'all that are patreon subscribers we ended up checking out this video uh that we didn't even know was having certain scenes in there and i mean it's not like they went into the whole full shebang but it definitely would have got you in the media strike on youtube mm -hmm. if we would have posted it that's why we had our patreon but the crazy thing is we were watching a video from on, where on youtube. youtube yep isn't that crazy mm -hmm. and he said some live shit. I'm, I'm off here after this but he said some very key stuff log out of youtube and see what happens you know how we'll watch something and they'll deem it as nudity and this and this and that but then they'll let certain music videos be trending mm -hmm. with no age restriction like bro, my kids if they just so happen to ever which they don't just get on youtube randomly they can bump against a you know click on a video where somebody is like half naked or naked mm -hmm. and there's no age restrictions on it i wonder why favoritism bro Man, favoritism he, he was spitting, bro. Shout out to Corey, man. Yep. Shout wanna, out to you, I'm bro. I'm definitely going to send you this video so that way you can kind of see. Yeah, yeah. Our, you're, not our... the, you're not the only one, bro. We, we're not, <clears throat> we don't have as many subscribers as you, but bro, best believe it, we, we definitely got in a strike, got it removed to get the strike put back on in just seven days. Not making that up. And even the homie Chisel, bro. Even, even kicking Chisel, it with him, bro, bro. Chopping it up with him, bro. They do him dirty. It bro. just don't even be making sense. Don't be making sense, though. Like, Oh man, we just start our own little. Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. But um, hopefully, y'all, you know, got a piece of something from this. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to him for speaking up and saying something. For sure. Um, definitely gonna try to send him this video yeah, just to you know see if he able to see it and you know just let him know, like, bro, I, we feel it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, even on a smaller scale, we still feel like the ramifications of just you know not feeling the fairness. Mm -hmm. you know? and, having a lot of questions and that's where companies should start getting with the content creators and hey what, what could we do let's figure this out because you know going down this path bro it's like it's no telling where it's gonna lead Facts. but hopefully y'all uh got something out of that we appreciate y'all for joining mm -hmm. and paying attention this whole time didn't mean it didn't mean to make this that long but it it was something that needed to be said bro. Yep. we've been dealing with that for a minute so Appreciate y'all for joining as usual. Continue to spread love and be loved. Like we always say, bro. For That's sure. all we push over here. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.